one question that I often get when I am out in the streets in my hair like this, which you rarely find me in, is what do you do with your hair? What do you use on your hair? And this is a question that I'm getting, for example, in a shop. And we are all rushing, okay? And I, I'm like, ah. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. My name is Duange, for those who do not know me. And I am a natural hair content creator from Malawi. I also talk about eczema, home decorative, as well as lifestyle on this channel. So if that is your niche, definitely stick around. So today's video is a wash day video. When I tell people that it's all about what you do on wash day, many people don't really understand what I mean by that. So today's video is all about that. I want to explain to you guys what you need to do on your wash day in order for you to have a successful hair care routine. If you don't master how to wash your hair, you are really going to have a hard time handling your hair because it starts from wash day. And in order for me to explain what you need to do on wash day in a very clear manner, I am partnering today with Guala. So a quick shout out to Guala, the sponsors of this video. They sent me a wash day bundle. And this bundle comprises of a detangling conditioner, a shampoo, a deep conditioner, a hair oil, as well as a leave-in conditioner. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Koala is a skincare, body care, and hair care brand from Malawi. They are fantastic people. They are always giving back to the community. Their goal is to make sure that their environment is sustainable. And the ingredients that they even put in their products are vegan friendly, sourced from natural resources, and things that will not affect the environment, will not affect your body, will not affect your hair. And like I said, they always give back to the community. Last year around July, they did a tree planting session in Milongo with the Lilongo City Council and they planted about 300 trees, which is really great. And I'm like, this is the brand to work with. They were also featured in a magazine that talks about Africa and its heritage. And it, I don't know what to say, you guys. If you didn't know a brand that you need to work with this year in order for you to have a successful hair care routine or a body care routine, then definitely choose Guala. Yeah, not because they are paying me to do this, but because because I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I won't come here and market things to you guys that really don't make sense. So make sure you keep on watching this video because at the very end of this video, I am going to do a giveaway from the brand. So you don't want to miss out on that one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? My wash day is split into four phases. And as you can see, I'm already in phase number one, which is called pre-poo or pre-shampoo. So I usually divide my hair into four sections. Then I sit down and spray either aloe vera juice or green tea to my roots first, then the rest of my hair. Once I feel the hair is fully softened and damp, I then go in with an oil or flaxseed gel, but today I'm using the Koala conditioner. I will pump it out three to four times and apply to my hair from the ends all the way to the roots as I finger detangle first, then finish with a wide tooth comb. And as you can see, the comb is just gliding through. Now that's heaven. I don't know about you, but pre-pooing saves my hair from excessive breakage and crazy shrinkage. I've been doing this for years and I guess my hair is the evidence. Now, once that is done, I'll have eight sections and I'm ready for phase two. When I am doing my pre -poo, I usually use oil or I'll use flaxseed gel or I'll use uh, detangling conditioner. And there are so many detangling conditioners out there on the market. For me, I normally gravitate towards this one, not on my watch by Auntie Jackis. And I will tell you that this detangling conditioner from Kuala does the same job as this, not on my watch, Auntie Jackis. So this one, excellent. Okay, yeah. The mistake that it has, they gave me the wrong packaging. <laughs> they gave me the wrong packaging. But I think that's something that I can forgive them for. Now you may be wondering why I'm washing my hair while it is twisted. Trust me, this helps keep the hair from retangling and it provides easy access to the scarf for phase 2, which you have guessed, 
it is shampoo time i cleanse twice the first cleanse i focus on the scalp only and i usually sing a chorus as i do in order to tell myself because you need to let the shampoo stay for a minute in your hair before you rinse it out and you need to rinse out with lukewarm water then i go in for the second time and this time i focus on both the scalp and the hair because the creams the butters and the oils that we've been applying during the week they need to be washed out okay and let me also point out that you need to avoid scratching your scalp with the fingernails because that is really going to aggravate your scalp. Rather, use your finger pads or a scalp massager as you saw me do there and that is really going to save you a lot of mess. So I had a little accident in the bathroom. Um, my shampoo bottle fell off from the caddy and it broke off. So it broke off. I haven't practiced that I shampoo twice. But usually when I'm using my Juju Ocean shampoo, it lathers at the first contact. And the second contact, it also does the same thing. However, with this one, I struggled with it. The first time, it did not do the lathering that I'm used to until the second time that I applied it. Now, how do I grade this? If I have to grade it out of 10, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Now on to phase three, which is my favorite part of wash day, and it is called deep conditioning or what we locally know as steaming here's how i do it i start on freshly cleansed hair and it shouldn't be dripping with water i apply a considerable amount of deep conditioner to my midsection first then transfer the product down to my ends and then i'll apply a little more at the roots and my ends as i finger detangle then i'll grab my detangling brush and brush the product into my hair shaft i learned this tip from whitney or natural 85 this tip is great because it ensures i don't waste product and i maximize what i have because the way the economy is right now hmm, you can't afford to be playing with product okay and also great deep conditioners aren't cheap but that's a story for another day anyway after that i'll braid my hair down and repeat the same process until I finish my whole head, which is a little gym workout, honestly. <laughs> okay, now before I steam my hair, I will apply some hair oil on my scalp and my edges because I don't do so during the week um, because I have eczema and my scalp is prone to dandruff and I do try to avoid leaving things on my hair during the week. So I'll usually apply oil to my scalp on wash day and deep condition and steam it together with the deep conditioner okay now this method helps me get the best out of the oil because the heat will open up my hair cuticles and if you have an issue like mine then definitely try this out perhaps it will help you now once that is done i will steam my hair for 10 minutes because that's what the product says and i'll wash it out after with lukewarm water thoroughly okay for those who have used Avon, the Avon Avocado Mask, yeah, the same feel that you get from that deep conditioner. It's the same feel that you get from this one, only that this one is better. I, I, I mean, I mean what I'm saying, you guys. This is time effective, and it does the job that it's supposed to do. So I'll give it an excellent as well because it is really amazing. However, the downside with this one is that it comes in a small bottle. We are almost done, guys. And phase four is all about moisturizing the hair and styling it. I usually use a wig butter hair cream and that's it but today I'm going to blow dry my hair so I'll spray the leave-in conditioner first into my hair work it in then I'll seal the moisture and juiciness with a heat protectant serum because yo hmm we aren't playing with heat anyhow okay I normally blow dry once every two months and today I'm especially doing it because I need a little trim but if I wasn't going to blow dry my hair, I would just apply the leave-in conditioner that you saw me doing before. And then I'll seal the moisture with the oil that you saw earlier instead of using the heat protecting serum. This is the leave-in conditioner that does it all. Because there's certain products that you put the product in today. And then the next day your hair is completely dry. That, like you didn't do anything at all. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. But this one, this will keep your hair moisturized for days before you can actually go back in to moisturize again. The last baby to be featured in this hair bundle is the hair oil. The hair oil is therapeutic and it will make your hair feel fresh. It's a non-greasy formula. It doesn't drip off onto your face. You can use it as oil people. You can use it as a hot oil treatment. 
you can add it to your deep conditioner, you can add it to your mask, you can use it for your scalp. It has a multi purpose range of benefits and uses. Another thing that I often see people doing during the week is applying oils every day. You're not supposed to do that. No, no, you're not supposed to do that. The rule of thumb is do not apply oils to your scalp every single day. Your hair needs to rest. It needs to feed on what you've given it already. You don't have to apply every single day. That will not make your hair grow any faster. You just be creating room for dandruff and for product build up and for sweat and for dirt to gather and to build up on your scalp. You have to apply this at least twice a week. So let's say on a Monday and a Friday, or on a Monday and a Thursday. That's it, but not every single day, okay? So know how to use this the right way, and you're going to see that this is going to become so much for you in as much as it's a 100 milliliter bottle. Okay, so that is it. That is the watch day video, you guys. I hope you learned one or two things. Now it is time for our giveaway. And the giveaway are just very, very simple. What you need to do is one, be subscribed to my channel. I don't know when you subscribe to my channel. So I'm starting to be seen by brands and starting to get businesses from them. So it really helps me to do more for you guys. And as much as I'm doing this for me, but honestly, you guys, when you calculate this whole bundle, it gets to around 60 something thousand. But I got this all for free. I didn't pay anything. Rule number two is that you need to go and follow Koala on the Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok page. Rule number three is that you need to talk to me in the comment section below. Tell me one thing that you've learned from this video that perhaps you haven't been doing or you haven't heard before and you've been missing out on and you're going to try it in your next watch day. I am going to announce the winners of this particular giveaway in the next year video that I'm going to post. You're going to get a blend of a shampoo as well as a conditioner, but they're going to be in 250 milliliters pack. So two people will get that. So yeah, that's everything you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video like I did. Enjoy making it. I feel hot. I'm glad we are towards the end. Until I see you guys in the next one, bye.